Gloria is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, she has been a director with us for, I think, almost 20 years. My first audition for Gloria was probably about 20 years ago. <laughs> Gloria gave me my start back in 1991. She cast me in my very first show. I was absolutely petrified. That was my first audition. I sang this horrendous song, or horrendous version of a song from Oklahoma. Had a, Gloria had a great reputation as being both very good, but also very tough and there were hordes of people at this audition and I thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> um, and uh, whatever, whatever she saw, and she, found a, she found a place for me. <laughs> I went, I read, I was told thank you very much and I went home. <laughs> I did not get the part. <laughs> I auditioned for Red when it was here so I knew a little bit about her style from when I during the audition process. Gloria is kind of the perfect example of why the Elden Street players were able to become Next Stop. She always held herself and everyone else around her to a professional standard, even when we were a community theater. I've worked with her as a designer and a, a, a builder, uh, and I've worked with her as an actor, and in each time her attention to detail is just so exquisite. She is knowledgeable about every aspect of, of theater. So I think Gloria does a couple of things to elicit uh, top-notch performances from her actors. One of those is that she is directly honest with them. She cuts straight to the chase, which is nice. If she doesn't like the way you're doing something, she will tell you that directly, give you some suggestions on how to improve it. I also think she's very good at pointing out when something works. Um, there are a lot of directors who can only give notes when something is bad. I think she is equally good at giving notes when there's something that is wrong and when there's something that is uh, working as well. So you know, always you always know where you stand with her and with the um, vision of the show, which is nice. I've done a lot of community theater in the area and you often have eight to ten weeks of rehearsal for a professional performance like this, you only have five weeks of rehearsal. Gloria is a director that makes everyone learn their lines before they start rehearsal and has no problem calling people on any of the bad habits that they have or any time they give anything less than 100% to a rehearsal, let alone a performance. Um, some directors will, if you do something that's not really great or you come in and you're not prepared for rehearsal, uh, they'll find a way to be really nice about it in such a way that you may not even realize you did anything wrong. But the thing that's great about Gloria is that, or one of the things that's great about Gloria is that uh, you know when you did something wrong. You don't really beat around the bush when you're rehearsing. You just get right to the point and you're able to move quickly through the material. I would rather if you don't know your line, use your script for right now. But I would like to know when exactly you're going to be off script. Okay, so let's... The team works really well together in part because Gloria selects people that she um, feels confident about. Well, the, the level of trust that she has in the people that she selects flows into the entire uh, rehearsal and performance process. There is a great sense of um, camaraderie and also helping each other out. Part of the reason I think is that we're familiar with each other. A lot of us have worked together before. I have done a number of shows with Todd Hughes when this theater was Eldon Street Players. He and I have um, a rapport which is, is really nice and, and feels immediately comfortable, you can go right back into it. The other thing she does is that she asks for your input as an actor. What do you think this character would do? If she has you know, some ideas of, of what she thinks and then you say, well, I was kind of thinking that, she said, okay, let's try it that way. She allows you to experiment and to play and she'll say, oh yes, we'll try that. And then she'll say, I liked it or I don't like it. <laughs> and. Um, you, so you have freedom, but you also have structure. It's really nice. Between the, the two synergies of that, you're going to get to an outstanding performance. 
best. I think what Gloria has the best handle on is this big picture. What is the show going to look like as a big picture? What I love about A Man For All Seasons is how epic it is. I think the show will make the audience think. What does it mean to stand up for your beliefs or your faith or to be true to yourself? Um, and what are you willing to sacrifice to do that? A lot of what this play is about is the negative side effects that being a hero can have on people that love you. Here we're putting everyone right up close to the King and Sir Thomas More and making these big ideas and this big, grandiose, beautiful setting right next to the audience. And I think it's something you don't get anywhere else. I'm very excited to be a part of this.